We've lived in these hills a thousand years. Grand Theft Auto paved the way for the modern sandbox experience, but ambitious projects such as these are typically filled with untold amounts of secrets and Easter eggs buried within, many of which were never unearthed. Yeah, yeah, for sure, you know that. So it was no surprise that numerous myths sprung up after GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Perhaps the biggest of these urban legends was the tale of Bigfoot appearing in San Andreas, but can players really encounter the mythical beast? Shoot me, human! <laughs> Shortly into San Andreas, when you gained entry to the main character's home in Los Santos, you were able to freely walk around the house and get a closer look at the amenities. One painting on the wall piqued players' curiosity, though. It apparently showed a shadowy figure dubbed Bigfoot in a wooded area. Soon after, players claimed they had caught the elusive figure in action supported by videos and photos. The most common way you supposedly encountered Bigfoot was to travel to Baco Beyond or Mount Chiliad during the night. Supposedly, if you were lucky enough, the giant menace would rear his ugly face. We decided to search the countryside of San Andreas on the PS2 version first, and then followed that up with an excursion into the PC iteration. We took three different approaches. First, we simply loaded an existing save with access to both Baco Beyond and Mount Chiliad regions. Secondly, we used cheat codes to gain early access. For the final test, we started a new game and played through till we were able to travel to either area. We also had the ability to permanently set the time to midnight with cheat, so we combed both zones with and without setting the time. With an arsenal big enough to supply a small army, we ventured off into the wilderness to see what we could find. After nearly two days of exploring, our search turned up nothing but false sightings. There were a few glimmering moments of hope, abandoned cabins, dark shadows in the mist, and odd natural occurrences, but the optimism quickly turned to disappointment. There was simply no trace of the elusive monster, so how could we explain the evidence? Back during the lo-fi days of the PS2, it was relatively easy for somebody to doctor a screenshot. However, we wondered about the origin of the various videos. Not surprisingly, all of the video evidence came from a mod created by an Italian fan. There was also an early red flag during our initial research. In an interview with EGM, former Rockstar CEO Terry Donovan told the publication that in regards to San Andreas, there is no Bigfoot, just like in real life. However, a few fan sites and wiki pages counter the claim with a later statement by Sam Hauser, co-founder and president of Rockstar Games and the executive producer of the GTA series. According to these sources, Hauser revealed, I did in fact put Bigfoot in the game, which was meant as a joke, but my boss told me to remove it. Instead, I didn't tell my boss and kept Bigfoot in the game just in case testers decided to roam the woods. Players will have a 1 in 10 chance of finding Bigfoot. Had we missed something, or was this a case of bad information? We contacted Rockstar, which refused to comment, but given the questionable origin of the supposed Sam Hauser quote, it's likely just fan fiction. Ironically, Rockstar itself recently unveiled the most convincing evidence. In 2010, the Undead Nightmare expansion for Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption contained a side mission called Birth of the Conservation Movement. In it, you were allowed to hunt Sasquatches, and when you dropped the first specimen, you were rewarded with an achievement entitled Six Years in the Making. San Andreas was released six years prior in 2004. Shoot me. Make it stop! <laughs> 